already have the means to travel among the stars, but these technologies are locked up in black projects and it would take an act of God to ever get them out to benefit humanity. I can assure you that given they exist, these flying saucers are made by no power on this earth. UFOs, the reliable cases are uninteresting and the interesting cases are unreliable. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bond. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. In the Belgian Air Force, a general supposedly saw a UFO, tracked it with his plane, photographed it with his wing cameras. And I believe it because I said to myself, why would this person not getting paid for this do it unless it actually happened or he thought it happened? There are two types of UFOs, the ones we build and the ones they build. Two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. If aliens visited us, the outcome would be much as when Columbus landed in America, which didn't turn out well for the Native Americans. We only have to look at ourselves to see how intelligent life might develop into something we wouldn't want to meet. If UFOs are demonic, to fail to identify them accurately may have far-reaching consequences at both the individual and social level. There is footage and records of objects in the sky that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain how they move, their trajectory. They did not have an easy explainable pattern. These UAPs are not secret US technology that they do not seem to belong to any known allies or adversaries that our intelligence services have yet to identify or terrestrial explanation for their extraordinary vehicles. This conversation is only just the beginning.